Welcome to this week's Intuition Insightful week of the 11th of March 2024 with me Ruth Ann Richards. I'm the creator of the Intuition Connection, author of Reclaim Your Intuition and I have one simple message for women everywhere. Now is the time to reclaim your intuition. It really is. Each week I share this intuition insight which is a piece of positive guidance to help you stay connected to your intuition for the week ahead. I use my own oracles, I'm using Reclaim Your Intuition and this week's guidance is Collective Consciousness. It's from the inner voice part of the oracle and the inner voice reflects and represents all those different parts that we have within us. And if you're in any doubt that we have different parts within us, if you've ever tried to make a decision and made a pros and cons list, you've been undecided, you've been second guessing yourself, all those things tell you how many different parts we are made up of. There's the conscious mind, there's what goes on in our soul and our hearts and our inner voice, there's the signs we see from around us from the universe and from intuition and we're taking all that in and that's what the message of collective consciousness is it's asking you to pay attention this week to what is it that you are attached to out there in the world are you watching every news bulletin go in and just feeling more and more doom and gloom because if so you're adding more to the doom and gloom that's going on in the world you know there's no need to blame, shame, judgment or guilt in this. It's just becoming aware. If every time you watch a news bulletin, if every time you see something that tugs your heartstrings or it brings you the anxiety of worry of how is this going to end? How does it get resolved? This is so terrible. You're creating more of that vibrational frequency. You're creating more of that feeling in the world. So this week is about having a clean space, if you can do it. A clean space, at least maybe try from Monday to Friday or just try, pick a day and try one day where you don't watch news, where you don't watch social media, where maybe you only check your phone three times a day and that you clear a space around you that's free of clutter. Um, maybe you still have to work on your laptop, but you just give yourself this space to work and live and be in a different way so that you can just leave the collective consciousness of what's going on out, out there in the world behind just for a short time. Why should you do that? Because it stops you adding to the feeling of doom and gloom, which gets bigger and bigger, and it allows you instead to have time, peaceful time, quiet time, and to focus your attention on things that are more fulfilling, that bring you joy and nourishment, Maybe you see someone you've not, you arrange to see someone you haven't seen for a while, but it's choosing activity and work, you know, and things that you do in any part of your life that is more nourishing and fulfilling, <coughs> excuse me, and that makes you feel joyful and happy and you forget about the doom and gloom for a while because then you're creating, you're helping create more of that in the collective consciousness and that's how we start to change things. I haven't watched the news in properly a proper news bulletin in over well probably about 12 years since my mum died after my mum died I was really careful about not taking things in because I needed space I knew I needed space to grieve I'd not lost a parent before and I didn't know how the grief was going to work what was going to happen what would happen to me but I knew I needed to allow it I stopped watching soaps I stopped watching murder programs I stopped watching anything that was about a life being taken that was criminal theft and I tried to focus on only joyful things so I watched a lot of comedy programs and it can be hard to find those programs on tv that are uplifting and joyous but just try try and clear that space and have a a clean week of no doom and gloom and see how it feels and the more of us doing it the more that feeling can help change the world and it starts to inform the decisions we make and the actions we take and it shows what we want in the world and it's all part of that change and it helps you listen to your intuition having a clean week a clean day a clean hour a clean five minutes helps you reclaim your intuition as i said at the beginning the more of us doing that the better the place the world will be. Take care, everyone. Have a great week. Bye.